Okay, so can we go through these questions on the right-hand side of the board, please? So this hopefully should just be a little bit of revision, okay? Uh, as you've probably seen from the title, we're gonna carry on with this and take it a little bit further. So I just wanted to remind you of some of the things that we were doing uh, before Christmas, okay? So trigonometry, okay? So here we have three right-angled triangles, okay? And I've just asked you to find the missing angle in each of these different triangles. Now, can anybody remember? What is trigonometry? What's it all about? Triangles. It's about triangles. Specifically, what type of triangles? Right-angled right -angled triangles. Good, absolutely. Um, and so far, we understand trigonometry as three ratios, yeah? So fractions, okay? So it's three sides. So a trigonometric ratio, our understanding of that at the moment, is just simply a comparison of two of those sides. And there's three comparisons to make because there's three sides, okay? So just remind me, we so special we give them three special names, okay? Can you remember the names of the trigonometric sine, ratios? Cosine, and tan. Perfect. So you've got sine, you've got cosine, and you've got tan. And you've got to remember, it's always in terms of an angle. So in other words, you need to give me the angle, and I will tell you the size of the relevant ratio, okay? So it's always in terms of an angle. Let's just say theta, okay? Now, can anybody remember, for sine, what two sides are we comparing? Perfect, the opposite and the hypotenuse. For cosine, what two sides are we comparing? Perfect, the adjacent and the hypotenuse. And then finally, for tangent, what two sides are we comparing? Absolutely, okay? So there's three sides, three comparisons to make. Hence, we're so important, they give them three special names, sine, cosine, and tangent. And those are always given in terms of an angle. Cool, okay, so let's have a look at question one. Um, I guess first things first, we need to label the sides. So this is the angle which I'm interested in. What side would this be? Opposite. Perfect, the opposite, okay? What side would the six be? Hypotenuse. The hypotenuse. In which case, which, uh, which ratio would be, we'd be using? Yeah. Perfect, yeah, good. So sine would be the ratio. Sine of the angle would be equal to? The opposite. Perfect, opposite over hypotenuse, okay? Uh, how do we find x then? Yeah. yeah, exactly. So you notice that 3 over 6 is exactly the same as a half. And you go, hmm, I recognise this. Okay, Half is one of those special ratios that, um, that should correspond to one of those angles. Yeah, And it's 30. Perfect. But again, if you weren't sure, you could always go shift sine or sine inverse of a half, and that'll give you the same answer. Okay, That'll give you the same answer. Right? Now, you notice in this case, I'm working in terms of degrees. Can anybody remember... What's the other angle of, um, the other unit of measurement that we use for angles? Radians. Perfect, radians. So you've got degrees, and then you've got radians. So what would this be in radians? Uh, pi over uh, one tenth. Yep. It is six, yeah, yeah. you happy? Because you remember, how many degrees is pi radians? 180 degrees. So you just think, okay, 180 divided by what gives me 30? It's got to be divided by 6. Yeah? It's got to be divided by 6. Perfect. Well done. So I don't mind at this stage whether you leave it in degrees or in radians. Make sense? Good. Okay, uh, just very quickly then. What's this side here for this triangle here? This is the angle. What side's this? The hypotenuse. The hypotenuse. What side is this? Adjacent. The adjacent. In which case, which ratio would be using? Adjacent, uh, yeah, good, because you're comparing adjacent and hypotenuse. So we'd say, okay, the cosine of x would be equal to what? Two over two square root two. Good, two over two square root two, okay? I can simplify that slightly. That's one over root two or root two over two. Can anybody remember what angle should that be? 45. It's 45 degrees, yeah? So it's a special angle. Again, if you weren't sure, you could just go um, cos inverse of that and it would also give you 45. Just for the sake of completeness, what would this be? In, um, in radians? Pi over 4. Pi over 4, perfect. If you take 180 degrees, dividing it by 4 is to get to 45. Therefore, it should be pi divided by 4 radians. Okay. Last one then. Okay, so let's label up our sides. This is my angle. What's this side? It's the hypotenuse. Absolutely, the hypotenuse. What's this side? Opposite. Opposite. Okay, opposite. Why is that side not the adjacent? Because you say, well, hang on, that is next to the angle. Why is it not the adjacent? Why is the hypotenuse? 
Perfect. It's facing the right angle, so it's got to be the hypotenuse, the longest side. Good. So, OK, we're comparing opposite and hypotenuse. In which case, which of these three ratios are we going to be using? Sine. Sine. Perfect. So, OK, sine of x is going to be equal to opposite over hypotenuse, so 6 over 14, or 3 over 7. Now, in this case, it's not a nice, um, it's not a nice ratio. It's not a nice angle. OK, so therefore, we're going to say x equals the sine inverse of 6 over 14. What does this come out as? 25.38 okay, degrees. Okay. How would we convert that into, um, into radians? Uh, Remember how to go from degrees to radians? So it's 25 times pi over 180. Perfect. So you're going to times this by pi and divide this by 180 to give me... One wall. Yeah, go on. Just give it to me two decimal places. Two decimal places? Yep. 0.14 radians. OK, remember the symbol for radians there? Because we're no longer giving our, our angle in terms of pi, OK, we have to include that symbol. I just divided 25.38 over 180. Uh, That's fine. I didn't believe the pi. Ah, OK, so you need to times by pi as well. Yeah. So can you do that now? Yeah. Uh, 0.44. 0.44 radians. So you remember now, because we're leaving it as a number, we need to distinguish whether it's degrees or whether it's radians. The radians is that little half a symbol, yeah, a little half a circle. Because you remember pi radians is usually our base unit, and pi radians is half a turn, 180 degrees. When it, when it says two significant places, will you write it like that? This would be to two significant figures oh. or two decimal places. Because remember the zero in this case isn't significant. Okay. Yeah, it isn't significant. If you wanted three significant figures, you'd have to include an extra one in there. Yeah, so what was, what was it written? So give me like three or four decimal. 4429. 4429, because the next one was a two, you can then round that one down. In other words, it stays as four. Yeah. If it was like a five or above, then you'd round it up to a five. Is that okay? Yeah, no, no issues there. Okay, good.